Alrighty then. Okay, well, um, the, the last one died there for a sec. Sorry about that. I don't, I don't know what happened. I guess it might, it might happen. I don't know. My, my bits per, per second is kind of fluctuating there. Uh, so I don't know if it was my, my end, something crapped out or. Uh, YouTube was being weird, but, um, yeah, uh, we'll give it another go and if it falls apart again, then I'll just go back to my usual s s stuff. Why is that blue? Interesting. I'm gonna try and pull up some of this so that there's more of a flare, I guess. Um, Cause I think it looks a little bit we, it was, I think it needs to kind of start flaring out a little bit higher, maybe to make it look a little bit more natural or something, or I just need to have this second tier up a little bit higher or something. Um, Maybe need to do the opposite. I'm not sure. We'll we'll try we'll try this first. I have like I have like three like kind of layers. Going on right here. Yeah, that's what's going on. I, I worked was working on this a bit um, last couple days, and um, I don't know if uh, Sean Sean Stream had any of the, the new cape physics going on, or, but we have a bit of cape physics as well in game now, so that's kind of neat. And this, uh, this, this will be tintable as well. So you can have, um, have the hair, whatever color you want or not, whatever color there's, it'll, it'll be presets, but you'll be able to change it.
So yeah, I need to add another... Let's grab this guy again. What's, uh, what's this one? Okay. I'm gonna try and push that in a little bit there. Slide this edge a little bit, slide this edge a little bit. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, any of the hair card stuff yet. Um, I guess the I, w I showed off the beard on the dwarf, like I, I gave like a sort of a sneak peek on the be the dwarf beard uh, on a couple streams here and there, Just a couple of my streams. Um. the hell uh let's add this to sideburns i guess so the cool thing about this though is um See, let's do this as well. Um, let's put them in this guy. So. Um, 
let me hide all this real quick. I need to delete all these, like, these other ones real quick. I don't think I can delete them all at once, though. Oh, well, maybe I can. Oh, crap. I don't want to delete the, the original one, though. This one I want to keep. Okay. That's good, right? Um, save that. Uh, select all of these guys. So here, look, let's take a look at this. Um, so we have the, all this, these bits broken up into parts, into sections. So I have the top bit here that I can isolate. So not necessarily to create a different hairstyle but um if we wanted to cr if you wanted if we wanted to equip like a, a helmet or a cap that only kind of covers the top half um we could um still have some of the hair showing through the from you know hanging down and stuff um let me see if i can find the helmet and I can show you guys um, hey Sakai is this your first time streaming on YouTube um it's not not first first time but um, I, I don't really do it often so this is definitely the first time streaming um on on the uh m, &M channel so so I might be doing it wrong. Let me know if I'm doing it wrong. I'll try to do better. But so we have uh as an example here. Actually I'm gonna need to make sure that this stuff um fits with the helm. So this is good to have in there, but yeah, so you can see, like, like if this was, if I were, if I were got rid of like this bottom stuff, um, like some of the hair could could pop out of the the bottom there. We're back. Hey, Charles. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, it just it just died on me. I don't know if it was a me thing or a YouTube thing. Um, so that's not a great start. If it happens again, I'm just gonna, um, I'll go back over to Twitch um, for tonight. Um, so. Radius, let's turn that down. Push this guy in. As the resident YouTube streaming expert, looks good. That's good. You stream on YouTube? Yeah, there there is there is like one feature that I I, I, I like um, with YouTube stuff. Um, and I think 
I don't know if the quality is better or not. If the video quality is better generally. Um, I've heard, I heard that um, you can stream in higher, higher resolution and bitrate stuff on YouTube. Uh, something to that effect, like without having to be partner or something. So. I don't know. But that looks neat. Bam. Of course, that's not going to work with um, I should have maybe kept the chain part on. I might have to get, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, so if this was like, uh, like some sort of other kind of helm. Some dorky looking thing like this. I'd, if I were doing something like this, I'd have to pull in the edges, I think. Um, but yeah, we could still have the hair. Which is cool. be a problem might have to just make the helmet a little bit bigger there I mean, it'd be easier just to push that part of the head in but I'd have to, to do that I am let's see if I turn off the oh I already have it turned off cool yeah so that that still kind of works without the, the whole top part. Which is great. I think I'm going to push the back of the head in a little bit, though. That's... This kind of this kind of looks like a dwarf, one of those, the dwarf hat. Um, did it, uh, it, it didn't have, um... I think this was what the dwarf hat looked like in EverQuest, right? It's just like this, uh, kind of... Just a little cap on the top with spikes, more or less. I don't stream, just being a smartass. Oh. <laughs> I do watch uh, YouTube streams, though. Um, the user experience is nice. Yeah, let me know. So if you guys, let me know how you feel about YouTube streams. Like, if... It, because like I, like I said um, before, I don't mind switching to doing this instead. It's actually a little bit easier for me because I don't have to, like, the stream would be automatically uploaded to the channel, right? Um, so it's like one less thing for me to do. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't like it, like, we can still just keep doing the Twitch thing. Um, I'll have to, I, I can still set up some of the cool shit my channel does. Um, cause I use streamer bot for all the, um, the fun business. Um, 
I don't have it set up right now yet, though, but I, I think I can still utilize that, that stuff um, to some capacity. So we wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily lose some of that stuff. Scarab Helm, y'all got the Scarab Helm. I guess some, for something like this, I could uh, also just, just make sure that back portion is down. Down and out. I mean, I, this looks really dorky, but just as an example of uh, what we could do. So. And then if we have a, a hood as well, um, this guy um there's might be certain parts of the hair we could uh we'd obviously have to turn the back portion off but i guess nothing really shows on this one but like in theory if there if you had like bangs or something we could probably still have the bangs show uh so that's but yeah, so that's that's the the thought process behind um, having having the hair built this way. Can't mess with that now. But yeah, so let's see. Let's try and I wanted to clean up the this bit here, or maybe I could just add like a flyaway or be uh, like an extra bit on top of this, and not to worry too much about it. Luckily, I don't have to worry too too much about like all these little cracks. So, um, we'll also do like a texture on the hair on the head itself to kind of um, try and cover for that. But but anyway, so I'll save this again. So I did some stuff and then duplicate this again. Let's try and make. Uh, some other stuff here. Ugh. 
Welcome back, back Siege Heart. How you doing? Sorry about the, um, the crash or whatever. I don't know what happened. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I didn't do it. Okay, so if we're looking at this this guy's hair, kind of uh, starts and kind of goes down down the side. Let's try. Let's try. Let's attempt that. So let's just start right here, and then we'll grab our curve. Maybe we should rotate the starting starting line here a little bit. Okay. And I'm, I'm using like curves for this stuff. So it's a little bit easier to work with. Um, but like laying down hair cards is just kind of a tedious thing, no matter how you slice it. Or I think there's there's some cool tools out these days that makes it way easier. This is not an optimal um, kind of way I, I did this particular one, I think. So. down I also don't have like a, a lot of resolution with the the hair cards either so but I so far it's I've gotten it to look pretty pretty decent for how low it is um let's shrink this Game looks great. I am a huge fan of the ideas. I really hope tons of work goes into items and I'm hoping no level requirements, old school mana stone type, fungi tunic type items. Yeah, definitely. Um, Lolly, Lolly tech, singularity. Um, yeah, that's definitely the plan. Um, we're big fans of that stuff, obviously. So, um, the items will definitely be um, that sort of thing, and I, I, I'm, I agree with you that like I'm not a fan of level requirements either. And I, I was, I was, I was literally saying that to the guys um, in some of our recent meetings and stuff. I think everybody's kind of on the same page about that though, so I'm not worried about that being uh, like that's not a concern I have with. Um, with the itemization, so. But yeah, we were actually, um, I, we were, yeah, so we were talking about, like, itemization and, and that sort of thing, and just, like, sort of reminiscing slightly about our favorite zones or whatever, and, um, and just, like, zone design, and Crushbone came up, because, like, I, I love the, the Screaming Mace is one of my favorite, um, like, little quested items and stuff. And I'm 
I'd really love to have like a something that kind of um, it's like a homage to the screaming mace. That's so awesome. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the support. I'm looking forward to getting folks in and, and letting them get their hands on, on it. We're still committed to trying to get that, uh, to get people in um, this year, before the end of the year. So stay tuned for that. That doesn't look terrible, considering. Um, hair cards, goblin, crush bun was classic. Hell yeah. The ye the yelling flail. <laughs> Maybe. The way the wailing flail, the flailing whale. The the mesa of um high pitched squeal. Squealing the squealing mace. This looks kind of Final Fantasy, this hair, do you? Um. I keep thinking of, like... I don't even play Final Fantasy, um... But, it's like, is this... This kind of reminds me of... Seth Roth, or whatever that dude's name is. I guess I could just have it kind of flying off like that or something if I wanted to. Mistmore was my favorite. I I really like Mistmore. Actually, the the castle castle entrance was uh, a really 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 fun camp. I really enjoyed doing that camp. Um. Yeah. the 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 other entrance camps weren't as enjoyable, like pawn group or. Graveyard was kind of interesting, I suppose. You, there's that secret wall there that was neat, and you could get some um, extra mobs that way. Um, but Castle Castle Entrance was kind of where it was at, in my opinion. Or if you're really savvy, you could go inside inside the castle itself. Yeah, but Mistmore is a really good group, uh, really good uh, area. Should have a one hander called the the tweaker with two da two damage, two five delay. 
It's like a really fast weapon. It's like a really fast, low damage uh, weapon or something. Like a dagger. That's, that's dagger stance right there. Yeah, like the the moss covered twig. Was that a was moss covered twig an item in EverQuest? I'm not familiar with that one actually. Or is that from something else? I don't know about this this bit that's flying off. I might might not do that. See, this is part, uh, the part I'd farm out. Um, I can handle the coding and design, but this, ugh, Carpal Tunnel Town. <laughs> I don't know, this is, a, I'm actually, I, I'm enjoying this. It's kind of, I'm kind of, it's going, it's going well for me. So this is, uh. code coding stuff is where I, I can get stuck because I don't know I don't know that shit um like I'm kind of this is also me I'm sort of killing time to some re regard because uh I, I want to get the helmets and stuff working again because they're not really working how I want them to but um I don't know I don't know about this this strand here.
gloves left. Boring. Speaking of, I finally finished up the, the fighter set. Nice. Yeah, man. Um, what did I do recently? Oh yeah. So, uh, the, the cape I did, um, I did a little texture for it. Um, Actually, I could probably just log in. That'd be better. Because you guys haven't seen the... Um, I don't know how many people have seen the... The cloth physics on the on the cape. Fighter set. As in texture work? Yeah. Well, we have the Geo as well. So, um, the fighter... The fighter armor that's um, in the reference... Um, this, this one here, we, we built this, um, this guy right here, we built this, uh, set. Yeah. I, you guys already saw the helmet I did. Um, and we have the shoulders and goblin just kind of did the, the rest of the texture. Um, so all we need to do is just kind of plug it in in game and then you know we'll be able to, to run around as fighters with this and uh we're gonna i want to try and crank out a couple other stuff i'm gonna do the ranger set because i have the hood already for that one and i also want to do the enchanter one because you know my boys enchanters they need stuff um yeah so I haven't seen the cape yet in action. Really? I I would have thought that um, you had seen that. I, I would have thought you were like ho over um, Ollie's shoulder last night setting up. But yeah, um, I'll log in in a second. Uh, um, we'll, uh, am I up to date? save that necromancer would be dope don't we need um don't we need that specific robe version though for that it's like the the beltless um like the like this one doesn't doesn't the necromancer kind of use the same geo as the the mage one So I, I mean, I was going to wait until um, that one, I guess, for, for those ones. Because um, we can't have... Uh, and for, for those ones, we're not going to have any belts, right? That's We're going to have to distinguish um, having the belts on the, the lower portion of the Geo for those. It's just those two, really. Everything else we could do right now, I think. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I think we, I'm probably going to wait. Um, I mean, I could, I could just make that geo, but like, I don't know. I don't know how to set it up really. So it works. Um, and I guess we, there were still running into UV issues. So I don't want to have to change three things. I'm excited to see the shaman set. Uh, I really love the, the feel of that one. Yeah. Hey, Goblin. Um, I just had a thought. Um, how do you feel about for the, the for the shaman? I guess I guess we could just um, I could just make a, a whole headpiece like this on top of the face mask, um, and then we'll just hide the hair, and it, it should be fine. Um, but just just a random thought. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Um, I'm not attached to it or anything, so you can say no and it's fine. Um, but what if we just had the mask and the strap and then we had, like, let people have their normal hair kind of 
show through on the back of it or something. Um, I don't know. Just the thought that I just popped into my face right now. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to turn the music off for a sec here and we'll do the login. I'll run around. You can see my Superman cape. Got that all set up now. The layers, etc. It's pretty much all figured out. What is it for for the belt or for um for the fighter set? Because like we we have a concept of it and we have some working parts, but you know we don't have the the warrior stuff in game working right now. Is what is this what I meant? Yeah, that's a. I mean, give that's. I mean, if people chose a bald head. And, you know, that's what it would look like, I guess. But, yeah, that's a fair point. It would probably be easier just to turn off everything and have the headpiece. Um, anyway, technically speaking. Next bald character. Do I not have a cape on this guy? I guess this is my character. Yeah, so, so I, I made, I made a texture. I used, I used your, your brush and I made, um, I took a crack at doing a goblin style texture, just so, you know, some swooshy lines or whatever for the folds and stuff. But, um, but yeah, and then we got the, the cloth physics on it. And it still kind of collides a little bit. It's, I think it needs some fine tuning. Um, I was kind of noodling around with it because I felt like it was a little too fluffy. Um, but I don't really know what the heck I'm doing with the, the settings. So, um, so I, I couldn't really do a whole lot with it. But yeah. It looks kind of... Oh, what the heck? Why is it not double-sided all of a sudden? Um... It's, it should be double-sided. I don't know what happened there. Maybe when I imported the texture again, it didn't, it, it broke something. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Um, Elm. Helm, Helm, Helm's A, no clip, uh, don't know, I don't know why I'm just doing that, but I'll, I'll look into it later or whatever. I was asking Ollie about that idea of having the one side always show above the character. Seemed intriguing. Having that one side always shows. Um, I don't know what you really should mean there. How about making the feathers for part of the headpiece? Um, I don't know. Are you talking about the shaman thing there? Um, Mr. Gross Negligence? That's a funny name, by the way. Um, if one side of the cape is always above the... Oh, you yeah, like, ren like rendering it. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that could work, I guess. Because it, it kind of only goes in a little bit, but this is also just the human, so. Um, run into other issues, you know, with um, other races maybe or something. I don't know, but we'll, we'll figure it out. 
But that's that's the only thing. I guess the only two things that are bugging me about it right now are that is it, it's clipping and I'm not entirely sure um, how flowy I feel. Like, oh, the snake! Snake kicked me and stunned me. Um. Yeah, I don't know. This this kid kicked me and stunned me as well. That jerk. But yeah, so it, it's cool that it's flowing though, and we got the texture on there, so it's uh, it's progress. It'd be cool to see this on a skeleton though. Um, I don't think uh, they're set up to have uh, attachments yet though. Like, the, the helmet doesn't even show up right now, so. But they will. We'll have to add some colliders to the, the character. Yeah. I kind of feel like... I sort of... I mean, I, I don't know how easy it would be to do the rendering. Always on top. Suggesting you had... Um, so my intuition is, is that it might just be easier to just do a collider. Um, that would be a, a more fail safe thing. Cause you, who knows what kind of unintended weirdness could happen if you start telling things to always be on top. Um, well, like what happens if you, um, I guess if you tell it specifically over the, the character model, but like, what if, uh, you're like around a corner or something, does the, does the cloak always show in front of objects and stuff too? So, or other characters. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, whatever works. I don't, I don't really have a. A, a strong feeling, I guess. And there's no, um, it's pretty, I, I'm actually kind of glad that there, it, it doesn't like, It doesn't like flap up or anything when you fall like that. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty, um, contained, which I'm happy about. Um, uh, the one thing I was worried about was it just being like flapping all over the place. And it seems like it's, it's, uh, contained at least. And it's just kind of, uh, you know, I'm trying to think what other sort of, um, what kind of like crazy, Animations do we have that I could like play with it on? Um, I don't you know, warrior Let's See search item Sword uh, Great sword of the dragon crusader. Oh, let's get that. That sounds dope. Wow, that's a fancy item. Time set, 10 aim. Let's see if the, the two-handed swing does anything crazy. Yeah, that's not bad. Skeleton in bone armor, high, f high passion. Hey, level one undercon. I've watched a couple of your videos. I think um, I don't know if you're you're you are in the Twitch chat at all. Um, 
but I've seen some of your comments on the videos and I, I I've watched your, your videos and stuff um your EQ videos I think did you play a human shadow knight um or am I thinking of somebody else because I think I might have actually bumped into you in, in p99 at some point um but anyway so yeah the uh, the capes capes are kind of going now but yeah uh, it'd be really cool to see um it's going to be freaking awesome when we get uh the attachments on the skeletons uh, i imagine we're just gonna all uh turn on skeleton illusion and run around to do a play test like that or something that would be a good um halloween um play test session actually we should we should actually try and get that in um by then so we can actually specifically do that uh that'd be really cool But anyway, I digress. Uh, let me get back to the hair stuff. So, back to the hair cards. Um, I feel like I maybe need one more on this side. And then this one's probably... Sometimes snoop on Twitch, but never log on. Yeah, I, I think I, yeah, I think I bumped into you, um, at some point. You, it was probably, um, some friend, friend group that you hopped, hopped in on or something, or I, I hopped in on something, or maybe it was uh, a fear raid or something. I don't know, but yeah. Maybe I'm just imagining the whole thing and I just imagined myself as someone, um, in the background in your video or something. I don't know. But, but yeah. Uh, yay, I finally found a live. Hey, musical Maddie, welcome. Oh, stream is having trouble, it looks like. I don't disconnect again. Um, all right, so I'm going to, I'm going to just grab this guy and I'll, I'm just going to duplicate this one. Maybe I'll like, see if I can just kind of layer this. Just add another. Another cool layer easily here. I turn the music back on. Uh, good old plane of fear that was a fun um that was a fun area for me because there aren't a whole lot of places where uh an enchanter actually gets to enchant or crowd control i guess i should say um in a raid scenario so it was it was fun for me to be able to like you know have a role in the pulling in like, you know, mess the, some of the stuff that's coming in. So. I don't know if that's too much or not. That looks. Maybe I don't want to do this.
If you were on Enchanter then, apologies for disease clouding <laughs> Mez Charmed Bet Breaks. I, w I think when I, I did only a couple of them, um, and I was still kind of, I think I was on the lower end, um, level wise. So I, I think there were some, some mobs that like, it was iffy if my, my mess would even land. So I, you know, I probably got myself killed, um, uh, more than anything, more than any, anyone else doing anything. The, I only, I did, I think I did, um, uh, a plane of earth raid once and you know how there's the, they have everybody, at least the one I did, they had all the enchanters, um, charm something like a gorilla or some shit like that. Um, I forget what I, I don't remember. Um, but, um, so we, we charmed a bunch of shit and we were all kind of running o over towards, um, uh, what's her face? Uh, the, the, the God, the God, the lady God. Uh, I can't remember her name now. Um, she was lame. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we were running over there and my pet broke, of course. Um, and I just got, I was getting the snot beat out of me and everyone was just like running away. I'm like, no guys, please. No. So. That was fun. I don't know about this one. I think that's just kind of sticking out by itself. Probably not a good idea. Sea rune. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing punched right through the, the rune. More than just haste and, and rash and tash. Growth, maybe? Yeah, plenty of growth. That's what it was. Yeah, it was, it was, um, Tunar. It was a Tunar kill, so. So I was like, was bummed that um, I wasn't very helpful. Just getting my my stuff pushed in before the fight even started. I like I like charm, but it I don't know to a certain extent. Um, it, it feels a bit weird sometimes when the, the strategy, strategy to like a, a boss is just to have charm pets do all the work. So I don't know how I feel about that. It's, it's almost, it kind of trivializes stuff to a certain extent. Maybe, I don't know. Feels like it does. Sometimes. Okay, so we got this guy, and we got this guy. And these guys are hugging it out. Just probably get away with not having that.
With this, like, where did I put that hood? Let me turn that back on. Um, uh, here it is, Ranger Hood. Okay, so that still that still doesn't show up. Uh, I will just put that in the um, top part, I suppose. Weird faction hits there for sh for good races. Is there a way to um? Yeah, I think there there is a way to restore it. Right, you have to do some sort of mushroom quest or something like that. I remember Pattis was saying that he, whenever he went to Plane of Growth, he just pretended to do things because he didn't want to actually take a faction hit because he didn't want to do that quest to get his faction back. So if you see a ranger in the back, just standing there, pretending, it's probably Pattis. Hey, Charm feels OP even on Bard. Not enough risk involved when Solos movement creates pay space. Non-caster mobs needed ranged weapons or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, there definitely were consequences for the enchanters. Because <laughs> I died a, a boatload. I guess, but you, like, it depends on the scenario too, though, right? You couldn't, you couldn't, like, seal those, like, you couldn't seal those away from that stuff in a, a dungeon course if you got a healer you you know uh, as a bard you'd probably just tank it because you got plate and stuff take a couple more hits probably but i don't know i just know i got my my stuff pushed pushed in uh so there were there were consequences for me like I, I, for a while, I didn't, like, I mean, this is, this is really my fault, but for a while, I didn't really mess with, um, like, rune. Didn't really realize how, how it would, like, save my butt in those scenarios. Um, so I, I never really, like, used, used it, but, um, even, even with it, like, I don't know. Because if you get, like, stunned when you're trying to recast it um like there there's there's this one um scenario where we were we were in um howling stones and we were in like i forget which wing it was like one of the one of the higher end ones it's the, it's the wing um that um you can get that that ranger dagger that prox um conflagration and i was like oh cool so i gave it to my pet and he immediately broke charm and uh he i forget i forget if he harm touched me i think i think i took a harm touch and then he procked with the dagger so i was i was down in an instant and i, I don't remember if i had uh any runes up but it didn't it probably wouldn't have mattered color spray first you can, if you can get it off and if if it um if it doesn't get resisted like most of the time you know you can i can you can re retake the the pet um maybe you get a little bit banged up or whatever um but you know it's it doesn't kill you most of the time but like there's just like like a 10 percent 10 percent of the time you're just fucked 
Um, maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's not even 10%, maybe it's less than that, but, like, uh, just, just, it's, it's, it's an, it's a percentage, high enough percentage that it, it's an issue, um, I guess, when you just, like, you're, you're down, and you had no, you had no shot. Charming was my favorite. <clears throat> um, so this will keep the gray texture and you will change the, the diffuse color on the material, change the hair color. Yeah, uh, Archmage, um, it, it's just gonna be, it goes in just as the, the gray scale. And then in engine, we can, um, we can tint the, we can tint it like you know how um uh what you can tint armor and stuff in in at Lucklin or whatever um, it's basically that system um where it'll it'll just apply like a tint over top and then that's how you get the hair colored so um that's that's the reason why it's um like this so uh it'll just be the one texture and you'll be able to change the color yourself um but we i don't think we'll it'll it won't be as like um open for um like basically you'll have colors that you can choose from it won't be you won't get like a sliding bar yourself we'll we'll have like curated uh, hair co color options but basically what it's doing is it's selecting um a tint Select hierarchy. Can I do? I'm gonna turn on wireframes for everything. Need to slide some stuff around so I can get um. Similar silhouette.
Maybe we should just join all these together. That would make sense, right? Where are these coming from? Do I need these? I'll keep those. This is the top of the head. Oh, crap. Hmm. Separate. Mirror this guy again. Apply that mirror and then join these again. Uh, charming was my favorite as chanter, but in the 50s, you can't charm things close to your level, so it got really difficult. I, I, I mean, I always prefer doing the crowd control, um, compared to charming. Charming, um, has like, it has like the high risk versus reward. It's definitely cool to be able to utilize that power and um you know do cool stuff by yourself um but you also have to be kind of like on it's not very like it seems like it's very it's it's kind of dangerous to to be eating a sandwich when you're uh charming sometimes because you can't go to the bathroom i don't know like i was always on edge when i and i had a charm pet i didn't really like that um feeling i don't really enjoy that feeling at least when i'm not um i'm not willing to uh accept the consequences you know or i'm, I'm just like i'm just too tired to deal with that shit. you know i just want to like fucking chill in a group and um charm the the a bad pull or something or not charm but like mez I did really love um on P99 you can you can charm the the paladin guildmaster in Felwith and you can sick him on all the guards and you can farm um you can farm the guards you know for fine steel weapons in Felwith using the paladin guildmaster uh and he'll just he'll take he'll take the entire town's guard by himself single-handedly all simultaneously and he'll win um, and it's, re that's really fun, but, uh, and it, I, I would do that. I did that a bunch and like, there was always necromancers trying to do that and they'd be pissed off that I was like out there doing stuff. Um, but I don't know. I, that was, that was a lot of fun for me. Um, but it's also like, uh, you know, you gotta be, you can't like, can't do it idly basically uh not if you're trying not to die anyway so indoors bards just use snare slow but it can get dicey with uh too many resists but yeah definitely seen some spectacular enchanter deaths <laughs> while watching them uh with lay hands yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's funny now, um, but at the time it was, it's like, what the fuck? Um, when I, when I, my pet in Howling Stones just dropped me in like, in a split second with, um, he, I think, I'm pretty sure he harm touched me and then he, he procced conflagration with that dagger. And even if, even if not, like, 
he hit pretty hard too i think he might have been a backstabber i don't know he did something he, he did something that hurt a lot basically Charming animals to fight uh, with you. Beastmaster in Final Fantasy was a good time, but it was risky. The the mind control that the priest got in World of Warcraft was kind of neat as well. Uh, I feel like it seems like it, is, it sounded like it was more useful in, in PvP scenarios than um, PvE, though. I don't know if there's too many cards or not. Okay, so let's see, what do we got here? Is this one piece? Oh, we got some other. This needs to be applied. Oh, all of this stuff. This probably needs to go to. Uh, top player. Should go to bed. Gotta wake up at two for work. Damn, that's hella early. See ya, Sakai. Thanks for hanging out, man. It is cool. All the, the toys... Um, all the toys enchant enchanted collect for their pets. Uh, Tola robe, conflagration dagger. Was the landy raid everyone? Yeah, like it, if if I was, it, I like I lost that shit really easy. Like my pet, like I, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm just like a shit player. I guess. Um, because like I, I had. I tried to collect some like pet toys and stuff, but um, you know I'd always lose them. Like the pet would die, and he'd, he'd die with the the equipment on him, or I'd have to like leave like like zone like leave the zone to save my ass, and then it's it was difficult to get the stuff back, or um, it's always something, so. What is this? 
Why is this not already part of... Yeah, let's apply this. I guess I'll just do this. There. Okay, some of this stuff is just gonna it's gonna be that way, so I don't know, that's so that's that's a hairstyle. Um It's hairstyle one. Sorta of done. Gap though. All right, cool. So I'll just call that good for now. We'll um, probably need to do a little bit more. There's a couple holes still there or something, but. One until I do get to some other ones as well, some other, what is this? A different. So yeah, um, oh, maybe that's why it was on that other layer. Um, uh, hang on, let me, let's separate these again. Let's add these. Selection. Into to apply these. So if we turn off the top, still get the sideburns. Cool. That's what I want. Um, let's 
There's a little hole there. It would probably be covered up with uh, texture, but I could do a quick thing there. So yeah, if you got a dumb hat like this, if you, if you went to the the dwarf smithy, said make me a dumb hat, and he made you a dumb hat. And you got this dumb hat. And you're, uh... Your hair would still show. Not that this is going to be a hat in the game. This is just like a test item for myself right now to test out the hair um, with, you know, helms of this shape and stuff. I don't remember where the I'm trying to trying to do the the dwarf hat right now, more or less. But anyway, with a low bid, negative resist making charm recharm easier. The low bid. Once you got leave it, it wasn't so bad. Um, yeah, this is a good spot. So I have some other, um, some other hairdos that I, I got. Um, so we have like, um, we, there's like a long, long hair option. There's like a medium hair and then there's going to be like a short hair and then there's like a buzz cut option. So, um, I was going to build out these, like some, something like the, they're like categories, kind of like, like this rough, very rough concepts from Goblin. Um, so I, I just did this one. It didn't follow super close to this one. I could, if I wanted to, I could do. I mean, I wonder if I should actually do, of course, um, it looks funny without that. Um, I don't, I didn't make anything come down the side of the face and I'm, I'm wondering if I, I don't know. I'll make another, I'll do another hair, another hair for that one or something. It's fine. We'll, uh, this one is fine for now. So, so there's room for uh
Oh. I mean, I'd kind of like to flare this out a bit too, furthermore, um, as well, to be honest. I can, I could easily just noodle with this forever, you know, so. I need to make sure it still fits with that helm on though. It's a big, big deal. Turn off sideburns, turn off top. I'm going to pull in the, the, the helmet again, the actual one, because I actually need the full on, full on version too. So that doesn't fit under there. You can make the, the helmet a little bit bigger though. Let's get it to fit. So I might do that.
Yeah. So that's what she looked like. The long hair. Um, long hair with a helmet on. Should poke through from the bottom there. Actually, I can take a screenshot of this. Turn the sideburns on there. Hey, wow. How's it going? Okay, crop, cropic nineteen. How you doing? Uh, and we'll do just everything. So yeah, that looks pretty dope, actually. Um, it's not bad for first round. It's a nice detail. I dislike it when games hide excessively shorten my hair when uh, headgear is equipped. Uh, it's the number one reason why I'll just incur the stat penalty and just go without a headgear. Yeah, it was a. Uh, some people on the team were very passionate about that also. So we devised a plan so that we can. Um, so I can I can have the hair. You can see there's different sections. Like I have. Um, I select this. Um, I just have the top of the hair. Like that, where we can um, isolate it. And then, um, so the, you'll still have the long parts poking down if you're wearing like a helmet and the, the long bits will poke, poke through and, you know, hit the bangs and stuff as well. So if we section, if we, if we like create sections and then we only ever make helms and stuff that like abide by those section borders like this then we should be able to uh, be able to do that so that's the plan style before stats bro <laughs> but yeah i know that feel there's some Sometimes there's like armor and stuff that looks bad. You don't want to wear it. Uh, even though it's technically better for you. I think a lot of the, I wasn't happy with a lot of the robe options in uh, Vanguard. Some of those fancy or higher level ones, they, they were like kind of um, just a shirt, a long shirt or something. I didn't like those. Uh, but yeah, they had uh, a lot of bad style decisions in that game, uh, I think, unfortunately. 
But anyway, so this is hair one. Done. Done ish. I'll save this. Uh, and if we were to do like a. Um, another one. Let's close this. Dwarf ears. Why do I have dwarf ears? Ah. Let's do, and before I start this one. Ugh. Um, let me file away these hats. I think the rest of the, the 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 rest of these hair options you probably won't see anything. I guess I guess this one will have some for like that really short ha ha um the half helm or whatever. Uh but this one is just going to be a texture, the the buzz cut. Um and this one I think is just going to have the cards on the top section. And then the, it'll be like a buzz cut on the sides and stuff. So I think I only need to worry about this one for for that. So, uh, looks like the concept art is missing the the Joe dirt. <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we can, this is like, this is like a bare bones concept to get like the, the, the a general range. Um, definitely we'll add more hairdos though. So don't you worry. Um, Joe Dirt. I mean, I haven't looked at his hairdo in a, in a hot minute there. I th there was talks about mullets. Um, I think some people were interested in, in a, a mullet like that. So the problem though, with doing that is if I put, if we put that in the game, everyone's going to be, everyone's going to have the Joe dirt hairdo. So. Can't trust you guys with that kind of power. I need to get a um, copy of Joe Dirt. <sighs> oh man. Anyway, so uh, I can start on this this other one, I guess. I don't know how far I'll get before I cr start crashing though. Um, I feel like I'm already starting to crash though. There's that. So, um, I think the this bottom bit would be just a lot of really short.
Skullets for life. A dirty mullet. The hardest part about um, doing the cards and stuff is really the start. It's like the blank canvas syndrome, you know. But like for that, like once once you kind of get everything sort of laid out, and you're just kind of styling it, it's it's a little bit more fun. Um, Screw up this. I definitely did. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Let me try that again. And, and Skelet wouldn't even interfere with Helm. Problem solved. I could easily take... Um, I mean, that's another interesting thing with this, well, the way we're doing it, is I could probably just take... Uh, you know, I could take... Uh, um, I could take this, and I could just add something to it, I guess, and then you got it like a a mullet already you know what I mean so I wonder I wonder what kind of mix and matching I could do with that um to find out where this line is too I prefer more longer elven style with braids well, so this is this is just the human, uh, the human do. I don't know. Maybe there'll probably be some braids and stuff. That the the female actually will have um, like pigtails. Like here's some of the female concepts. So we got uh, some pigtails for the girls and like a short kind of bob, the long hair, and then a mohawk. Should do a mohawk for the guys too. Um, maybe I could I could put that in with the the buzz cut or something. I could just I could put it right on top of the the buzz cut. Really, and it would just fit right in.
This one might not work as well with the with the shorter. Might have to do a different technique for for this. We'll see how well this works for the, the shorter hair because like with longer hair it's kind of a no-brainer um, but shorter hair looks different when you have um, when you're using cards like this so I should I should grab some reference as well Will body hair be an option? Um, yeah, it's people have been talking about that. Um, we can just add like a, a layer on top. It, it should be uh, like a toggleable thing. Uh, maybe even like a slider, like to have like show more, like to make it more or less transparent so you could have the illusion of having more or less hair. Um, but yeah, um, we we haven't started that process, but people have been talking about it lately, so we'll I'll have to get on that. spins around I start moving stuff what well, kind of um is there anything specific in the body hair area that you you're looking for, or just to have like like just a toggle would be enough? Do you think?
King 99 has a few warriors who raid without breastplates, so they can so can imagine they would go for chest hair or back hair for yucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Um, I definitely think uh, we need some chest hair. Dwarfs, you know, ugh, I almost spilled my water. Um, dwarfs, ogres, definitely need hair on the on the bod. Um, are there people like? Is that a is that a, like a thing? Just to take off the chest when you're fighting something like when you is that like when they're tanking or is it like the DPS or just like trying to be so I haven't heard about that. Tell me more about people taking their breastplates off. So it's just a it's like Indian Braves trying to be cool. Touching, touching the enemy kind of thing. But yeah, it's uh, a way of showing off a game of chicken. <laughs> With raw HP. Yeah, I gotcha. That's kind of funny. I, I hadn't heard about that. Could easily have the uh, the bald guy do with this too. So that's cool. I wonder if I can use the sideburns at all. Let's duplicate that. side and let's get rid of one of these let's get rid of two of these
Speaking of thick, though, um, I kind of feel like we need to, because I was looking at the, oh, I was working on, like, some other sculpt, actually, and um, I was thinking that we don't really have, I feel like we don't have, like, a representation of, like, a, like a really voluptuous um, body type for, like, female side. We have, like, a burly um female but like the the two like the th like the the human and the two elves are all pretty skinny so i was gonna see if i could convince um some some like some peeps on the team if we wanted to maybe add some curves to some one of them I would I would like to add um, I was thinking the, the dark elf initially um, have a, a more curvy um, shape um, but it could also work for the high elves too I suppose um, or if we have like like the, the thing with the humans is um, a, still kind of a I don't really know what the plan is there like uh because we don't have like a barbarian or a erudite race on its own but we're still planning on supporting that sort of option through um modifying like having just more options for the human i guess um and so you can like essentially create a barbarian or erudite human type I was actually really impressed by the delivery in body shapes, heights, and sexual dimorphism. I've been looking at the concept art a lot today while catching up on the backlog of content. Yeah, like I think I, I like a lot of the I like all the uh, the stuff we have. I'm just I was just thinking I feel like that was just one area that was kind of left out that. I mean, I, I'd, I'd like to do, but yeah, we, we have, I guess, I guess you, a goblin might make an argument that the, the dwarf female is pretty curvy, but that's not really, that's not really what I'm, I was thinking. So, um, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to, so we have, we've kind of hit the pause button on creating more of the other races right now because we're still sorting out like um how to get armor uh and everything and hair sorted out you know so it, it makes more sense to just do that on the human and then kind of like iron out any details or issues we have and then it'll make it easier to scale that up for the other races um so for anybody who's wondering where the the other guys are 
Um, I'm I'm looking forward to getting on with those, but we need to sort out some of that technical stuff still. So, unfortunately. I'm sure it could be nice to have an option for it. Yeah. Cause I don't, I don't know if we're going to have like body sliders and stuff. I kind of, you know, as the character artist, I'm kind of not thrilled about that option. Um, so, but I guess theoretically, if we had that, then you could perhaps, um, get, get more curves or something. It'd be cool somewhere on the P99 forum players posted screenshots of EQ models they altered, putting the female dark elf skin on the ogre model, vice versa. Yeah, um, that was, um, that was, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. Um, I can't remember now off the top of my head. Uh, I think I still have that link though. I hope I do. Maybe I got rid of it. No, here it is. Yeah, it was Gringles. That's the guy he, uh, I was trying to think of. Uh, Gringles did a bunch of, like, um, a ton of texture edits and stuff um, on the uh, shards of Dila. Yeah, here's the... Um, the, og the female ogre texture on the wood elf model, it looks like. Or the... It's actually... The, that's the human model. So... Here's the, the gnome, gnome texture on the ogre body. It's pretty good. I like the face there. It looks almost look like a, a frog dude or something. Um, here's the troll wearing a robe and a diaper. Tro uh, uh, a onesie kind of. But yeah, there's there's um just like a whole bunch of stuff in here that's pretty cool. Um there's a Tomb Raider skin redo. And I actually I, I posted it in here because this was Back in 2016, that, that's when I was, um, I was trying to get into editing stuff because I wanted to 3D print the, some, like, some characters. I was trying to get into 3D printing the EverQuest characters. And I actually was successful eventually. Um, it took a while to figure it out, but, um, I have this guy. I printed uh, the troll with the with the textures on it. I, the, um, I I I did it through Shapeways, and they have like the ability to print in color. So I was able to bake the texture onto. Uh, I had to re re UV the damn thing um, and get all the textures onto one texture sheet, and, and then I could submit that to Shapeways as one texture because they only let you 
you, you uh, send one texture. Um, and so yeah, they, they printed it in color like this. Um, and it was very expensive. He's only like three, he's only like three feet tall, three inches tall. Um, and it was like 50 bucks, that thing. So, and the, as you can see, the, the resolution isn't the best either. So, but yeah, I was trying to do it, do that same thing with the XR. So, but yeah, that's fun stuff. I can link, I'll link this, um, I'll link this thread in, in chat and you guys can like take a look for yourself. Cause there's a bunch of cool stuff in there. Uh, it's definitely worth a scroll through. I remember that people were wanting a sitting version of the troll somewhere. Just recently posted a 3D print of Fiona V on V9 Reddit. Oh, interesting. I'll see if I can find that later. Um, that'd be cool. Oh yeah, this one completed Ariana gift. That looks good. Was this printed or is that those boots look cool? Yeah, one of these days I'll have to I'll do a Ariana V sculpt or something. Where is this one? Okay, let's pretend that that's, that's decent. Let's, um, some shit on the top here. I think they said it was their first attempt. I just uh, like the swooping magical effects around the staff. Yeah, that stuff is not easy to do. 
Ooh. It's it's a shame that like setting up that print for the troll was so much work. Otherwise, I would have like done more of it. Um, but it was just like a lot of work for not a lot of result. So I was like, mm. I, d I didn't really want to spend more time on that. All right, so let's do this. I'll do, first I'll grab the right thing thing. shorter that's not bad for their first attempt though um especially if it was 3d printed like i didn't see any indication that it was printed really it looked pretty smooth maybe it's re a resin one though or something who knows Need to find more reference here. Oh, oh! It's quite the outfit this gentleman has. It's gonna make up for that shitty haircut, I guess. I'm gonna delete these two because I can uh, just duplicate this other one and get a better thing. It's kind of closer to it. So select, copy, copy.
It looks a little bit weird in the middle of setting this stuff up. So I swear it'll get better. I got like half a head. Need to remember to grab this reference here. Where am I? Where am I throwing this stuff? Um, I need to make like a. Here, I'll just make a new folder. Hair ref. Just dump everything in here. Oh man. What do you guys think of this do? This is like a this is gonna be like a gnome hairdo, I think, right? This is like either gnome or ogre, I'm thinking. That's uh that's quite the Oh here's a here's another good one. Right here. This is definitely a gnome gnome one. Unfinished regular style equal finished undead your style. Stand up for a little bit here. Mm. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, I'm look I can't wait until we get the, the attachments working on the skeletons too, so well they won't have any hair, obviously, but um armor and stuff for sure sees. Nope, that's the wrong one. Which one is this? Am 
That needs to be pushed in a little bit. What's that looking at? Both. I guess it could work for a, an ogre too. Very fancy ogre. Probably save this, huh? It's been a been a minute. It's got a bald spot there. I need to. Need to do, do something about.
How do you guys feel about um, doing the hair in this way? So obviously this is not, um, you know, classic EverQuest style where it's just like a block of head, block of head, a block of hair on your head. Um, so there was some discussion about, um, like internal discussion about the hair in that regard. Um, and I'm trying to keep, even by doing this, I'm trying to keep stuff low and blocky, uh, you know, with the silhouette, but, um, this having it layered like this still allows us to do the, have the hair poking out from the helmets and stuff. Um, cause that's not something we could easily do going a different route. Um, and maybe you guys don't care so much about um like the keeping it very purist to a specific specific style or not but uh, i'd be curious uh what people think there is there there is and you can i think the what we have so far kind of speaks for itself and that we're trying pretty hard to keep a certain, a very specific style um, with the art. So I don't know if like people think this is uh too far in a particular direction or something. Always curious about that. I need to make another one of these. Actually, uh, well, I guess that one that would be a, a top layer one, so it doesn't matter. Talking to myself there. Uh, let's squeeze that guy in. Let's do this. I think some of the comments that we've gotten actually, um, like when we put out the, oh, what did I just do? Prefer more detail versus blocky for hair, putting it in same category as robes. going to start winding down and getting ready for bed. Thanks for the stream. All right. See you, Shifty. Thanks for hanging out. But yeah, um, when... <laughs> When we put out that trailer, um, like a, a couple months back, it, that that kind of blew up a bit that video because it was like the the only real sort of trailery thing we we had made, or I think pretty much still really, um, 
so it, it kind of blew up a bit and I, there was a lot of comments about like how ugly the, the game looked and stuff um and like how dated it looked and stuff I was like well yeah we're kind of going for that um but we're also trying to make it look like my goal is to make it look uh, appealing like that that's my personal goal to make even like even things that are supposed to be ugly it still has to look appealing i think like in an ugly way i guess or you know um i don't know if that makes sense but um you know something can be designed to be to be ugly looking it's supposed to be something that's like hideous a hideous monster but still like the design is appealing i guess um so so like i guess when it comes to hair um i want to still make sure we're being true to our goal with the art style but you know not just making ugly looking stuff so I don't know. And some people are just going to say shit anyway, you know, no matter what you do. So. I was actually a little bit surprised um, to get those comments. It's like, I didn't think, like, I get, like, our style may not be for everybody, but um, I didn't think stuff was ugly. So I was taken aback, actually. I by those things. It's like, really? I don't know. I don't know if this, this hair is really working or not. Uh, it's not really kind of what Goblin drew either, but he, it's pretty vague, so. I'm taking liberties here. <sighs> but yeah, uh, level one under con um, robes, um, you know, being an enchanter main, uh, I wear a lot of robes. So um, I want the robes to look really cool. So um, I want to get some time to do more texture stuff for the armor. I was going to do some, some robe textures as well because... Um, we don't really have we have like just a base and it's not really much so people being put off by og m m graphics is confusing because i don't see the same comments about n64 games or even older consoles well i guess um people aren't making um i, mean, I don't know maybe it's different because we're making a new game in today's, like, you know, in, with modern stuff out. So we're kind of competing against new stuff with the, with this old graphics. Whereas I don't know if there's anybody making N64 games um, these days, but I get, I get, I get your point. Um, maybe in another 10 years, public opinion will shift. Yeah, it is. It is what it is. I guess like by the like, we're still in development, so stuff kind of looks a little rough around the edges anyway. So it is. It is what it is. Um, but I guess when when we get closer to release and we get more polished stuff, um, maybe people will uh, feel differently. And if not, that's okay too. We're not not trying to make you know something for everybody.
that's the um it's actually it's kind of um which way am i trying to go with this it's reassuring to a certain degree actually to be able to say that you know we're, we're not making a game for everybody it doesn't it's like if you don't like it that's okay you know we're not we don't have to worry about that i guess so i kind of like that um i don't i don't have to worry about that sort of thing anyway just got to worry about do we like it is it what we want and is it what our target audience would would think is is good i guess Don't know. I can't tell if I'm going overboard with with this stuff right now, though. That that's kind of why I was asking, I guess, because like, is this? Am I going too crazy with these hair cards? Because I could. There's they're all like really low poly and stuff still, but I got like a shit ton of them, so. I might have to rearrange some of this stuff. I don't know if this, uh, this hair is going the way I want it to go. See how this works, I guess. Because like like I said before, like these um the shorter shorter hair styles are actually gonna be more challenging, I think. It's easy to make some long wispy hair cards. Um getting the small the shorter ones to kinda look like they're Kind of together is a little bit harder.
Well, it's 9.30 over here as well uh, for me, so I'm probably going to have to roll on out. Um, should uh, should not get in the habit of saying I'm too late. So, um, so yeah, I think I might just call it here, actually. Uh, I, I think... I can't tell if this is... I don't, I don't think this is really going how I want it to necessarily yet. I need to, like... Um... I might, I might have to rework this a bit. Um, so I'm trying to do like a kind of a classic, you know, male hair. Uh, I don't even know what it would be called. Um, like something, something like this one. So kind of with the, the swooshy, you know, wavy hair kind of look or whatever, something like this. So, um, Anyway, so yeah, I don't think I don't think I'm really hitting that mark yet with this one. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll work up more on it as we go. But for now, um, we'll save this and I'll I'll roll out um, for the night and and yeah. So and let me know what you guys think of um, YouTube streaming. Um, should we, should I continue or should I just, it's just easier on, um, uh, Twitch? Cause you know, I, I, again, like I could probably get some of my fun channel reward things sorted out here, but I guess that's, that, that would be like, uh, a lot of that would be kind of harder to do on YouTube. Maybe, I don't know. Um, so there's, I don't know if there's, there's more upsides or downsides for what viewing YouTube or not, but on my end, it, it makes it easier to just, um, stream to the YouTube channel and then not have to upload it to YouTube later or whatever. So, uh, Ashen is a good example of more current, but simple look. Ashes, ashes of creation or ashen it's ashen um oh said it ashen is game i guess i have, i haven't heard of interesting this looks cool Ashen is an action RPG about a wanderer in search of a place to call home. Hmm, that looks pretty cool. The art style looks really good. I might check that out. Is it co-op? It is co-op. You can like help each other climb stuff. That's cool. Wow. Oh yeah, that looks like a cool game. It's a low low poly co-op souls. Oh, it's souls like I'm, I'm not super into those ones though. Um, but the art still looked cool. Take your backs off Dark Souls. Haven't played but heard decent feedback. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, um, Thanks again, guys, for hanging out. And again, it's going to be it for me tonight. And I'll, I'll catch you guys next week, next Tuesday, um, from the next regularly scheduled um, stream from myself. Um, but yeah, don't, don't forget to catch the other team members, um, Goblin, Pattis, and uh, a loving robot all stream as well while they're working on stuff. So... Um, but yeah, see you guys.